Hi, I'm Sammy and welcome to Planet Anonymous. Today I'm going to be running you through our February 2018 high tea stamp set. So this stamp set is a 18 piece stamp set and comes exclusively in our Planners Anonymous subscription box. So this one includes a variety of stamps including a flower builder. So on the back of each of our stamps you'll find that there are care instructions included so that you can get the most of your stamps for as long as possible. So we'll take these out and one of the things I recommend having is a couple of different sizes of acrylic blocks a nappy wipe or um, baby wipe and I'm using some VersaFine so I can show you nice and simply and quite easily um, what the stamps are but you want some um, good inks. We include some ink as part of our kit um, but I always recommend having a black as well. So I have used these stamps before um, so but I'm going to which is why they are a little bit stained that if they do stain do not stress that's all fairly normal it won't stop you from being able to get the most from your stamps. Now some people press down on them like this. I actually prefer um, to stamp my stamp on top of the ink pad so I can see um, what's actually being included. If you do get some ink, um, if you do get some ink on your acrylic block, please make sure that you wipe it off because sometimes that will um, not give you the best impression. What I'll usually do is run through each stamp set onto a blank piece of paper before I actually use it properly to make sure that they're all stamping clear. As you can see, this is a really nice clear impression. If it's not, grab an eraser or a really, really fine nail for file and give it a really, really soft um, coating on top. After every stamp, make sure that you just give it a wipe down with your baby wipe. And that'll just give it a really nice clean. As mentioned, don't worry if it has a little bit of staining. I'm going to show you through all the um, more deco items first. So we've got our girl and then we've got a little cupcake. So I'll just put the little cupcake on. Oh, and I just got some ink on my acrylic block. So I'll just wipe that off before I go to use an impression. So you don't need to um, really do much. They're really quite simple. Just make sure that you've got a good acrylic block. You'll notice that mine have got um, a grid on them so I can keep it straight. Um, and but a lot of them don't but that's fine you don't really need that either and um, we've got our champagne glass I'm just giving them a nice good clean as I go another thing you should do after you've cleaned them which I haven't I'm not doing during this video but have a blank piece of scrap paper just to get all the ink off and all the water or wipes um, the residue off um, before storing your inks your sorry before storing your stamps away so then we've got the teacup and I've left that blank so that you can basically do your own design on the teacup as well instead of just using the design that we've got in the kit. Next I'm going to include this little circle. So this little circle is really versatile. It's actually one of the plates from one of our papers. But what I've done is um, I've taken out the inside so that you could use it as a feature um, in your layouts. Um, so whether you want to put like an appointment time or um, something special that you've got on or even the date inside it each month. Um, so this little section that I've got down the bottom is just showing, showing you the size. So you've got the Erin Condrum, which is the small size at the bottom. And then the bit at the top is making it the happy planner size. So I'm just going to write like a little appointment time in there just to show you an example. Now, if you, as you'll notice, um, some of my inks, uh, some of my impressions are a little bit bolder. You'll find that's when I've probably pressed a little bit too hard on my stamps. So there's a fine art to stamping. So take your time, as mentioned, before you stamp in your planner, stamp on a blank piece of paper first. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you do it, you'll love it, I promise. They're fantastic. Now, I love this little um, peony rose. Oh, it's probably more of a, no, it's a peony. <laughs> we'll call it a peony. It's a bit of a rose look, um, but it's probably one of my favorites. It's really quite versatile. Um, so that is all of our decor and now we're going to jump into our lettering. So I'll do the first one which is this pop fizz clink. And one of the things I love doing with this one is I love, um, I'm not going to do it here now, but I love being able to do this in two different colors. So I'll put like a yellow at the top of it and then a pink at the bottom. And then as I stamp it, 
it'll have an orange slightly through the middle if you overlap it. Now make sure you put your yellow on your stamp first instead of your pink because you want to go from light to dark so that way you're not mixing your colours. Now if you're finding you're not getting a good impression, usually you'll find you might need to swap up your inks um, and give those a go. Now beside the flower builder, which I'll show you in just a second, I also have a sentiment builder. So the first, the top part of it is a party without and I'll clean this off. And then you've got a few options on how you want to um, use it. So we've got, um, you'll notice the text part. You, I've got tea, um, champagne, and cake. So you could go, a party without tea is just a meeting. So it's just a meeting is the bottom part. Or a party without champagne is just a meeting. Or a party without cake is just a meeting. So really, and then not only that, but you could put those different sections or that, that highlighted word in a different colour. Um, so just another way to get a little bit more from your stamps. And you could use that as a card as well, um, not just in your planners. And I'll show you a trick. So with really long stamps, what I like to do is I'll lay them down first on a piece of paper that has a line on it. Um, and I'll pick it up. That way it's... It's not going to bend or warp as you put it down and the stamp will sit nice and flat. Now, if you want, you can use brilliant things called stamp positioners. So one's made by Misty. There's another one, I think, by Tim Holtz or Memory Maker, um, Memory Keepers. There's a whole bunch of them at the moment and they are brilliant and I highly recommend investing in one. I've got a few in different sizes, but I don't like to use them during my videos because not everybody has one. Um, but I can guarantee you when I'm not doing my video, I do use one um when I'm not being lazy <laughs> but they save so much time um, and they give you a really clear impression because you can imp um, do an impression twice in the same spot um, really simply whereas it's actually really quite difficult to do that without one of those tools okay so there's that um, full thing and now what I'm going to move on is I'm going to show you now the um, flower builder so the flower builder comes with two of the peonies and then um, sorry one peony which is two stamps and then two leaves and then there's four stamps so what you do is there's you'll notice that one of the peonies has more um impressionable area than the other um so that's your background so i'll just stamp it over here and that way you can see that to begin with now so that's my first full one and you'll notice that i'm cleaning off my um, acrylic block as i go now if these stop sticking to your acrylic blocks just give your acrylic block um, a wipe down um because it might be too wet and too slippery so and then you'll notice that the second one has less impressionable area than the first so you want the one with more impressionable area which is the top one with your lighter color and your one with less impressionable area with your darker color and then you can overlay the two so they're designed to perfectly overlay or if you want to you know mix things up get a bit funky you can have them offset and it does create a really really interesting look so i'm just going to show you what it looks like when we overlay them and I'm just going to use a few different coloured inks here to see if I can show you um, how this looks when we overlay. So this is, what I'm stamping in is now, I'm sorry it's off camera, but what I'm stamping with now is our um, ink for the month. So our high tea ink, which is a beautiful pink that matches in perfectly with our sets. So I just need to dab it a few times just to get it well inked up. So I'll put that down. Oops. Okay. As I said, sometimes you need to um, clean off your acrylic blocks because everything stops sticking. Because I'm generally moving a little bit faster for these videos, um, I do get a little bit sloppy with my stamp care. Um, so please make sure if you um, want to look after them, look after them better than I do in these videos. Wipe them down, clean them off. Um, I haven't done that very um, perfectly in line, but you can sort of see how one is meant to go on top of the other. Now, I mentioned a stamp positioner. That is honestly the best way to get a really, really clear impression. Not just that, but also to uh, make sure that these stamps align perfectly. Now, I'll show you a technique in a minute, which um, I do it more of an offset. So if you don't have a stamp positioner, you can still use these stamps and get the most out of them. So I'm just going to wipe that down. and put on the one with the smaller amount of um, um, impressionable area on there. 
And this is why it's important to put them back on the right spot on your stamp sheet because otherwise you'll end up getting yourself confused um, when you go to use them again. So I'm just going to stamp this one over the top in black again. I'm just going to line it up. And it's also hard for me to see um, because normally when I do these, I lean over the top of my paper to get it right. That one's closer. So I normally lean quite over the top of my paper. And obviously, if I was to do that, you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. So it does make it a little bit harder for me to um, get them lined up when I'm doing my videos. But I guarantee you it is super simple because off camera, I can do it. Okay, so now you've got these two leaves to go with. So there's two leaves with the coloured in bits and then two leaves with the um, outlined parts. So I'll do this one first. Whoops. Once again, I've got to clean my, ink, my stamps off. And if it doesn't impress right, I'm just going to um, add some more ink onto that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do both of the um, the broader area to, or the actual inked coloured part. Now if you want, you could always just use the top more outline bit and then colour it in yourself. It's really up to you. It's giving you just a little bit more variety on, on how to use your stamps and hopefully some inspiration too. Now if they do fall off, be really, really careful picking them back up because um, you don't want to smear that beautiful impression that you've just done. Okay, so then we're going to grab the outlines for the leaves. And once again, um, this is a little bit harder for me because I'm not looking directly over the top um, um, of when I do my impressions. So I'll, um, I'll do the best I can for you. But yeah, it's much easier if you're looking directly straight down on top. And you can see, I think I actually do quite well. Um, but you can see it sort of gives you a little bit of an outline. So if you were to say use a green, a light green ink for this and then a dark green on top, um, you could really get some beautiful effects with it. And then there's the second type of leaf. So you can use those, you can create a bouquet um, or a single stemmed uh, flower. Um, really, um, the, the, the thing that I love about stamps is that there's so much creativity that you can do within them. So I'm just going to show you a little technique of masking off a um, one of your squares. So if you want to create a background. Now the thing that I will say is do not press down too hard on your washi because you will tear your paper. Our washi is quite good and sticks down quite well. So if you are going to use our washi, yeah, make sure not to stick it down. This is the second time I've recorded this because the first time, what did I do? I pressed it down too hard and I ripped up all of my paper. So... Um, if you are going to use our washi, please be gentle. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've, um, sorry, <laughs> what I've done is I have, um, masked off the sides where I don't want the ink to go. And I'm just going to create like a little pattern inside here. I'm not going to be too overly careful about it. I'm just going to have a little bit of fun, um, and just stick all these down here. And as you can see, I'm just sort of placing them haphazardly within the box. Now, once I've done that, and this, this is a really good technique for those who don't have stamp positioners and want to have a bit of a play, and you could do this really with a double box or if you wanted to make like a strip at the top of your, your planner or if you wanted to decorate the inside of your card. Um, really, the options are endless with this sort of thing. And then what I've done is I've grabbed the um, what would be the inside or the, the top part, the darker part. Whoops, sorry, that was a horrible impression. And let me see if I can get it right on the top. I didn't do too bad. So, and then what I've done is I've gone back over and created a few um, different colors. So you could do that in, in a whole bunch of different colors and really create some really interesting effects. So once I've done that, I'm gonna clean off my stamps and I'm going to exceptionally, very, very, very gently, just peel off the washi. And you'll notice that the ink hasn't gone through and it's given me a really beautiful, clean edge um, to my stamping. Now, one of the things that this would look amazing with is using like a really, really nice light stone um, color or a light gray. And you could do that basically down like maybe your whole weekend or in a to-do list section. Um, yeah, options are endless. So have a play with it. And I'll just show you a close-up. So as you can see, um, it's it's created a really nice box sort of pattern, um, giving you a little bit more. So I'm just going to show you once more, because I didn't show you before, just the height of the girl in, um, uh, um, 
in comparison to how big the boxes are. So I do make the feature girls, well, I did make her this month bigger than the box. Um, it's because I like to use her as, um, like that you can use her on a dashboard or on a bookmark or anything or on a card. So I usually make the feature girls just a bit taller than a standard box. So on two boxes, on a stacked double box, she would look wonderful. Um, and once again, on a dashboard or in a card or in a feature, she would look brilliant. But to be honest, I quite like her, her there anyway. And once you add a dash of colour, she'll look wonderful. Um, so, um, oh, this is what I was going to say. So if you need to, you can rub, um, use an eraser over the top of your stamps if you're not getting the clearest impression. So as you use the stamps a little bit, they will get clearer over time. So that's pretty much our, our stamp set um, for the um, High Tea February 2008 kit. Two, two, ugh, 2018, oh my gosh. I hope I've inspired you to get creating with it. We've also got our coordinating ink. And I, I hope, I can't wait to see what you girls make with this. Um, so come in the group and show me. Bye.